Welcome back to the Honest Lab Horror Show, the show that we bring to you each and every Friday night. Gentlemen, why do we do this on a Friday night? Read the t-shirt. Friday night is horror night. Woo! The slogan was so good, we got it on a t-shirt. Yeah, and you're um, the only one that wears it now. Yeah, well, you gave yours away, you dickhead. To my, my daughter, of course, yeah. yes. Again, joined back by the king. How are you, sir? All good in the hood, brother. All good. And our regular intervening co-host at times tombstone ted how are you sir oh not too bad how are you you're here to mediate things again i suppose <laughs> keep you two in me. check stop me and king going off on it someone has to and then we're joined by a very special guest that have a very important upcoming event in terms of irish horror um it's horror con down in monaster evan on the 13th of october uh this is joey and sunita how are you Hi guys. Hi guys. I didn't butcher your name there, did I? No. <laughs> oh, he, he was asking Joey, sorry. <laughs> As I said there in the intro, um, it's a very important thing because obviously we don't have a whole lot of um, horror cons. I know myself and Ted travelled to the UK for one last year, but uh, there hasn't been one here in Ireland for a while. I, I think there was a one that used to pop up in like Kilkenny or something for a couple hours. Um, so it's really important when this popped up that we, we got involved straight away, which is... Um, so where did where did the idea for Horicon come about? Uh, on the June on June June twenty ninth we had well we actually went to a mini con in Dublin ourselves in Tala. We know the guy that organises them, and he got a brainwave thinking, oh, we can do something like this. And he was expecting me to say, no, we can't. But I actually jumped on board with. Um, so we did our tie con, so it was pretty much like vintage ties, gaming, everything, every sort of yeah, ties, really pops, anything you could get your hands on. And Aaron, Aaron Lock- Lockhart, 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 he was there. He specialises in the Jason masks and anything okay. horror yeah. themed. And um, but it was him, him from Uncanny Collectibles and Breaking the Mold said to us, "How do you feel about a horror con?" Now, it was absolutely something. We got married on Halloween and everything because yeah. we're just, I love all that. So Halloween's we jumped on board, yeah. yeah. Halloween's kind of our thing. So, yeah, it was simple as that. It was just they said, look, there's nothing for horror. And we just said, well, look, we'll look into it. And we're lucky enough our own local hall covers the insurance so it makes it easy for us to be able to run little conventions like this and just see what happens, really. Yeah. Yeah, because it can be very expensive. The insurance would cripple us. We couldn't do it with the insurance. So it's in. I think I've seen it in Monas Revin Community Centre. Is it? Yeah. 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 But yeah, no. Me and the lads. When I seen this, I sent it into them, and it was nearly an instant. Uh, yeah. Well, we got it. We got to get involved with this one. So, um, obviously, we reached out to yourselves, and things kind of escalated a little, a little quickly into certain things. Um, but obviously, then we confirmed that we were gonna we were gonna go as a as a customer to see see what it's like. And we're genuinely looking forward to it. It's a day out for the lads. <laughs> yeah, it's a rare day out for the yeah, lads. Well, come here. Tell us, brief. Tell us kind of what you have planned for the day. I don't. You don't need to give away too many kind of things. But like, what's the what's it gonna be like for someone that might be thinking of going that's not sure? Well, we have um. On the run productions are coming down to show two of their short horror movies, the Trip and Stalker. Yeah. Uh, we have a couple of stalls selling figures. We have three D printed stuff. Uh, artists coming down. Yeah, tattoo artist. Tattoo artist. We've got a tattoo artists on the day doing a flash sheet of our work as well. Uh, that's we got. <laughs> A few cosplayers coming down. Yeah, we've got a few cosplayers coming down from real icons. They're sending down a couple of their cosplayers. So we'll have Freddie. Freddie, Mike. Mike, Mike Myers. Myers. Uh, Megan. Megan. And then there could be a Xenomorph or a Predator there. They're not sure who co- which one's coming. Uh, I, I think uh, <laughs> some, some of the work you see with cosplayers are just phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. These are amazing. They really are. Yeah, they're putting on a table display of uh, alien stuff like face overs and the eggs and stuff like that as well for people for pictures. 
a few props as well on the day. Yeah. Do you think there's a good market for pops and, and secondary market and all that kind of stuff in, in Ireland at the minute? I think pops have kind of plateaued at the moment. I don't think there's a couple of them out there that people do look for big money for, but I think secondhand market, I don't think it's yeah. there anymore at the moment for them. I, I have to say, when I had my one... So Says just, him. Yeah, Says him. with all them behind him. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I had mine, I um I unboxed them every time. I don't, I don't buy shit to, to kind of leave it in a box, you know. Um, like one of my favourite ones that I had yeah. was Black, Black Philip from The Witch. That was one of my favourite pops that I had. And uh, Nosferatu Nosfer- then as well. So I just I really... I miss me figures. I miss me figures. I have to say. This is some of the pops, but... These are the ones I let them keep in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I bought them all by home, and then the one by home holds my tie collection, which goes from He-Man up to modern Marvel Legends stuff, so... Deadly. Yes. Very, and everything. very nice. Well, what you do is, Jason, or, uh, you, you bring it to the con, you charge people a euro to go in and look at it. Like, it's a real... You can imagine it'd be like a Father Ted kind of a thing, like, you know... See the see the, the see the see the the caravan of wonder or something, you know. Yeah, we were at the I, con last year. Ted, they had that uh, the Jeepers Creepers one. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were over. We went over to the for the love of horror one last year, and they had a Jeepers yeah. Creepers thing at the back. We were just saying. I was just saying it to her. Uh, the other day, just next year we need to get over and see that the love of horror. Yeah, this year, like, uh, this year, want- next year, twenty six, I think, is the big one we want. That's going to be the scream one. Well, we assume like that's not. We have no inside information to say yeah. that it is. <laughs> We're assuming. Listen, it'll be thirty years from Scream that they'll that they're going to go all out. They've had yeah. Steve Ulrich and uh, Matthew Lillard there before, so we're assuming they'll they'll go for it on the thirty year anniversary. They usually try to tie anniversaries in, so we're assuming. That's where all our money is being saved up for for uh, for the con. So what you're yeah. saying is we should 2026, and if it's no scream stuff, we blame you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I I keep telling people they're gonna put scream on, so um, they better. Yeah, well, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep hounding Neil until he does it this year. From from the end of this year show to 26, I'll just keep messaging him. Scream, scream, scream. Um, <laughs> We'll do for horror to 2026. We'll do for the love of wrestling next year. Then I was like, this is going to be quite important. The UK gets Irish horror. I said the UK seems to get a lot of the good guests as well. Like even like Dublin Comic Con and Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland Comic Con had a good lineup this year. Yeah. Now, they're, sure. they're, they're the same company, um, Monopoly run Northern Ireland Comic Con. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It seems. Yeah, they they are absolutely crushing it in terms of guests. They really um, are. Um, no, like it's great having the the one in the UK because it's quite close to us, and as you said, they get great guests and stuff. But they have the one in the in Northern Ireland, but that's obviously not the horror one. And it is very important that we start getting something established here in Ireland, like in the the Republic. As King said, there's a huge horror. There's a yeah. huge horror fans and stuff over here um and unfortunately there just isn't a whole lot for them to be doing like there's nightmare realm and things like that but they're they're very very different yeah it's it's very different it's not a con um where you get to meet other people who are into this like that's a you know you go with people you're already friends with and and enjoy it it's not you don't get to see cosplayers like i know they're dressed up and stuff like that but that's to actually scare you it's not to interact with you or you know talk to people so it's very important to see a con getting set up over here specifically in horror to kind of like bring that genre to light a bit over here because it's it's having a bit of a renaissance recently in terms of films and stuff like that it's been great the last two or three years yeah about that yeah as i said said, it is going to be quite important for it um so obviously i think if this becomes a success for you which i've no doubt it will be um hopefully it'll grow to even bigger and better things every year that's it, yeah. yeah. Like we're gonna, like you said, it's our local community center because at the moment we just couldn't afford insurance to do it anywhere else. But if if we go bigger and better, we're hoping next year we'll add a little bit bigger and a bit bigger. And it's it's like everything; it's the backing of the people that 
come to that is going to help it grow. It's, yeah. You know, we can only do so much. Absolutely. And like it, it, the word of mouth helps an awful lot. Like, as I said, this popped up on my Facebook as a sponsored ad. My ears pricked up as soon as I seen Horicon. I was like, bet you this is going to be in the UK. <laughs> and then when, yeah. I, when I seen Kill the Air, I was like, oh, yes, we're in. <laughs> that's it, isn't it? It's, yeah. And that's why, like, we're we're quite small at the moment. And like you said, it's it's really nice because you get the people, like you said, to interact with each other. And it's not oh, like that, not just in Dublin or anything, of course. But Dublin is quite big. It's quite scary. It's we when we put the Tycon together because that was more for in that smaller people or children. But in fairness, it was a lot of men. Yeah. From yeah, we had um, <laughs> a lot so of for, collectors for the Tycon. We had Ken Coleman, absolutely brilliant artist out of mm-hmm. Limerick. Mm-hmm. But he in the he man community, but he brought uh, a prototype figure for. The Marshall, which is just Brave Star, a remake of Brave Star. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm familiar with Ken, yeah. Thing. Sorry. Yeah, mm. just one of them things for like, <clears throat> Ireland doesn't get a prototype figure, and a little town in, in Kildare doesn't get a prototype figure. So it's right. just one of them things that we're going to bring something so unique, just, just, just a small town. Yeah. And I mean, it, it obviously, it'll benefit the town as well because theoretically, more people coming in could prevent or could go into smaller shops and find things. Or exactly. local takeaways yeah. or whatever. I don't know whether there's going to be food at it or not, but no. But there is three takeaways within walking distance. Okay, I'm going to ask some yeah. important. <laughs> I'm going to ask some important questions <laughs> about sorry. about the con now, guys. Um, can you pay on the door? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Is is it is there alcohol going to be served at it? I would say no. No. Grant, no. right. just so as we know. And um, <laughs> will will young children be allowed in? Is or is it over 18s? That's at discretion of the parents. Yeah. So under 12s is two euro per head. Uh, over 12s is, um, so it is like that. It says on the site it's at the parents' discretion. Right. Like that, there could be things there that are going to spook smaller yeah. children. So yeah, they have to be used to that kind of stuff. That's that's. And you would you wouldn't want like if someone's getting a tattoo yeah. as well, you wouldn't want kids running around really. No, well I'd say yeah, they'd have to be heavily supervised. No, supervised. Our, um, exactly. our tattoo artist is going to be up on the stage, up higher than everyone else. You oh, can that's see everything that's going on. Yeah. From Tipperary. Cromel, is it? Yeah. She's from Cromel. Um It was someone that was in touch with her actually. Yeah. Um Cats, cats, that's it. Yes, yeah. cats. Um, what a, what a place to live. Where Tipperary? <laughs> no, Clonmel. That is Tipperary, Tipperary. I think. Yeah, I yeah. know, but Clonmel. No. It's, I mean, in general. <laughs> I think there's a yeah. backstory there that we need to hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's not. <laughs> um, ju- just on the the back of Kings, couple of important questions there. Obviously, listen, we we'll share out. Um the oh, advertisement and things like that with the video but um it's obviously it's on sunday the 13th it's it's just a one day thing this time um hopefully in the future as you said as it gains in popularity and builds like that it possibly will be end up being a two day for, for the moment it's a one day um what t- what's the kickoff time and what's the end time just for people who are looking to come so 12 to 6 so doors open at 12 o'clock till six thereabouts like it's not we're not going to kick you out but that's the times yeah, yeah well it's just more that you know so people you don't want people yeah. showing up at half five going well, i'm not paying me half five it yeah. ends at six you know what i mean yeah. good good advance notice 12 o'clock six o'clock so you don't need to get there real early you have time to travel no, exactly. you're not getting up stupid exactly. o'clock in the morning it's that's a great time for it to, to run I, I think that's a it's a great it is a great time because i know when we went to for the love of horror we were there at nine o'clock on the money yeah and it becomes yeah. like it was a great a great day great two great days we had but they became long, long at times yeah yeah and like you're yeah. doing you're doing the yeah, guts, we... you're doing the guts of eight hours or nine hours walking around yep <laughs> We did in Northern Ireland Comic Con. We were in at ten, and we didn't leave till like six when it yeah, showed. Nearly so, half six, yeah. yeah. I, I'm gonna bring up something I've seen on uh, on social media there recently that you've had. You've mentioned Northern Ireland Comic Con. 
Um, I believe you've got to take yeah. a certain hardcore legend out on a day out due to your participation yeah. in <laughs> in uh, North yeah, I mean the kids. Tell us the story, guys. It's just I wanted to, I wanted to do a cosplay for North Northern Kong Con and I've done the Jet Eye thing and my feet killed me with the boots. So I was like, I'm going as the easiest, most comfortable cosplay I could think of someone I'm going as Mick Foley. Tracks and bottoms pair yeah. under can't beat. And it was <laughs> we got in there for ten o'clock because we wanted to get his question answers, him and her him and Rikishi. But we set Damn. off kind of about two rows back. A woman was getting up and she goes, Do you want our seats? Front no. row, right at the microphone. No, he was dressed up. And we went, yeah. So we're sitting front row and question answered, blah, blah, blah. Mick goes, oh, just you're more Mick Foley than I am. You know, get up and <laughs> wave, wave to people. And then it's just at the end of it, he goes, I've been here a few times. I've never seen any of the country. Anybody want to bring us, bring me around? And I <laughs> just took up my hand and he goes, yeah, you. Brilliant. And we thought, we like one of them things going, ah, I was just, you know, something funny to say or something. He said, come down and see me. So I wanted to get, uh, herself got me the three faces of Foley for my birthday. I, 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 I got that well. So I went down amazing. and he just goes, I'm going to try to get... He said, I'm going to try to get a flight out. If I can't get a flight out, we'll do it. So he said, yeah, we'll do it. And... Dead. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Pick him up, the next up at 12 o'clock the next morning. Drove around for six hours. Talks about wrestling. My daughter said she loved Becky Lynch. So he sends a message to Becky and... Just as we we're dropping it back to the hotel, Becky sends her back a video saying uh, the lovely family. So it met her day and then we he goes bought us dinner, chatted with my young lad about basketball. Just a surreal day, you know. Yeah. Just such a nice man. Just such a nice man. And then he put up a post on his Instagram about it. I seen that. And I just sent him a message from the number I am thinking this isn't gonna get Mick Foley, like this isn't Mick's number. Yeah. Text and I just said, Mick, just thanks for the lovely message about my family and all that. And two minutes later, I get a beep. He texts me back, and I'm just like, I have Mick Foley's number in my phone. Amazing, like, amazing. I'm, I'm, we may need to yeah. commandeer that number. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I have to say, there's a lot of people after that. That's yeah. my privileged information along with the mobile location. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I have to say, though, I've, I, you know, you always hear the the story of never meet your hero, this, that, and the other, and everyone that I've ever heard that's met Mick Foley and like actually got to spend time with him, not just hi, oh, can you sign this and move on. Anyone that's ever actually got to meet him and spend some time with him says that story of never meet your hero, that adage, bollocks. If your hero's Mick Foley meet the guy because he is genuinely one of the nicest people in the entire yeah. world and I've never heard anyone say different when they've got the chance to actually That's spend time with him yeah I met him years ago I met him years ago as well actually don't you I work in the airport so I, I meet a lot of them a lot of people but I met uh, Mick Foley and he was a sweetheart like, yeah so yeah you know yeah, yeah he's a legend like. <laughs> absolute oh, yeah. legend yeah, absolute yeah. he was a so, uh... Any question that the child, any the two kids had answered, and kids were eating tail, and he goes, Any chance Mick could get a few of them cheese puffs off? Yeah. <laughs> My son even goes, He says, It reminds him of his uncle. And I'm like, Yeah, he kind of actually does. He definitely <laughs> always looks just... like that crazy uncle that just shows up at parties and, and steals your food. <laughs> I tell you, for the first half an hour he was in the car, we were all like, like Oh my God, it's Mick Foley. And then after a half an hour, it was just like, Any other. Oh. Yeah. Chatting away. Yeah, no, yeah. he's he's everything I've ever heard. Say, like that ties in with everything I've heard about the guy. He's just he's the nicest person in the world, as far as as far as I've ever heard. I've never had the joy of like meeting him properly myself, yeah. hoping to at some point. But yeah, that ties in exactly with what you'd expect from that, like from yeah. Mick Foley. We all, we almost got the meet and greet that time he was in Dublin, but uh, so we didn't realize. Yeah. Guys, tell me this. Um, we've been talking about the horror con, but we haven't actually been talking about horror. Tell us some of your favorite horror films. This this is what I was saying. Horror said, I'm so basic. I like I just like basically the big three or four. I like the old school horrors. That's what I the new stuff I'm not really into. She'd be more into new oh. stuff. But as you can see from over there beside herself, Jason and Freddy and Michael and Chucky now there. That's my sort of horror side. Oh, uh, interesting. Interesting. Anything paranormal I'd be into. So, 
like that I do. Halloween is one of my favorite franchises. Absolutely adore it. But mm-hmm. I've been hunting. Um, I do love the Evil Dead and all of that sort oh, of stuff. Yeah, like Evil Dead. Yeah. Evil Dead um, any of the series, Exorcist, like The Exorcist, yeah. like what's this, the Haunting on Hill House? That was one of my favorite series. I, Mike Flanagan done a hell of a job with that, didn't he? Yeah, like and it, the like your, the actress was just absolutely amazing in it. Um, his wife, I was gripped that, that as well, didn't she? Uh, yeah. Katie, Katie Siegel or whatever, yeah. Seagal or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah, I was hooked onto that for a while. Um, anything like that, really. Anything like I'm, I'm, that I can nearly believe is true. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the guys are big uh, Vampire Diaries fans as well, like yourself. Vampire Diaries, yeah. That's not exactly yeah. horror. Yeah. Didn't, didn't watch that. <laughs> so, uh, they're fans. Well, yeah. well in, <laughs> fairness, in fairness, the lads always out my secret that I love... Uh, Twilight. 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 Twilight's uh, King's big one. He loves yeah. loves that. Yeah, I love it. I, I, I love it. He loves the sparkles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was the two of them from I don't even know their names, your man and one, the vampires and it has kind of the ending we all wanted and it was oh, great. Slave. 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 Kind of. yeah. That was awesome that yes. <laughs> best moment. Yeah. That, that would have made the film fucking fantastic, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's just like Great. Then I'd watch the trilogy over and over again if that was the ending. Um, I did watch the trilogy over and over again. <laughs> I, I had the disfortunate pleasure. I had the disfortunate pleasure of watching it in the cinema. Oh, yeah, I've seen oh, them in the cinema as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> but, I'm so um, glad I didn't know them. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was rough. It was rough going. I've, I haven't fallen asleep in the cinema too many times, but that was on. Two or three occasions. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, but, just uh, to, to kind of, we're going to wrap up now, but what, what we'd like to do is keep in touch with you over the course of preparations and you can give us kind of news on what's happening and how he's getting on. Would you be up for that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, just uh, is, there, is there anything about, about sorry? Yeah, but yeah, I was just going to say, um, is there on course for the open for the day itself? Everything's going to plan. Yeah. 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 Go, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Greg. Um, have you got anything that you'd, you'd like to promote for the, the con other than the con itself? No, um, just like another. We have another Thai con coming up on the seventh of December as well. Same place. Cool. Well, that's the week before my birthday. Uh, we might head to that as well. You never know. Well, there we, you go. Bring the boys down. To we do love collecting things. Well, oh, no, some of us you do. like collecting things. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I I do. Me me and King do. And Ian what? Ian who can't make it at the moment. He's not he's not available today. And they, uh, and they need stuff. me because I have the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, My son does a stall at the type. He has a lot of stuff I'm getting rid of. So he has got a lot of Hasbro wrestling figures and. Up to date wrestling figures and old uh, He Man figures. Ian love that. Stall, that's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Ian's not even on the call. <laughs> um, but yeah, but so. as you said, it's we're what at the time of recording, we're just under a month out. Um, and as, yeah. as, as the excitement grows, obviously, a con in Ireland, we're all in, and I'm sure there's a lot of people waiting for it. Um, so the time can't roll around quick enough. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we'll... our what was I gonna say? Our socials are still Tycon, so it's Ty Con. under no, it's just just Tycon, Tycon, Tycon underscore IRL underscore IRL. Yeah, and then TikTok, Instagram, that's Facebook. all the one. And then on that, we just update it like every day. You're updating, aren't you? I put up something nearly every day. It's a video or something goes up every day. Uh, I am hoping to kind of have a, like a little mini. Jason film done. Me and a friend of mine are going to try to get one a little tiny up done as a kind of advertisement that will get up at some stage. Brilliant. Nice. Uh, yeah, just keep an eye on the socials and that's yeah. you can get like you said, you can pay on the door. Yeah. Um seven euro for adults, two Two-year-old euro for under twelves. But like I said anybody that might be interested for a stall, stalls are fifteen quid for a six foot table. That's we still have a few stall spaces that we could fill. Yeah. yeah. We're kind of keeping it cheap and cheerful. There's no point trying to price people out of it. We want yeah. as many people to be able to come and experience these things as we can. 
Yeah. Like ah, the yeah. price we charge is just enough that we're covering what we have to cover. Yeah. Um Yeah, we're not in it for a major profit. Yeah. We're in it for the people. The fun of it. Yeah. We enjoy Hello. these things, so we want other people that enjoy it to be able to come and just get to hang out with G three and have a chat and talk. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's going to course, and they try. Uh, I've done my best all the way through it. So, yeah, course all you <laughs> fucking want, man. Yeah, course, <laughs> all I think. You, you just have to cover the cost well, of the hall. I think ten minutes with someone who's into the same thing as you, everyone's happy. Everyone have a good day. That's all we want. Exactly. Good, good. Yeah, uh, and listen, seven, 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 seven quid ahead is is nothing not, not, per person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it, it is important that people recognize that they need to go because you you guys have to take the hit here in the, the initial hit of, yeah. of covering the hall it's yeah. you know and yeah. as you said you aren't in this for a profit this, this seven euro entry is just to cover the basics of renting the hall yes. and you know i know you don't have to cover insurance this time but in the future you may need to cover your own insurance and things like that so for anyone who's kind of on the fence or oh, i don't know if i'll go i might go next year the thing is this is the first year it's been run so saying uh, I might go next year, not really well, worth not really worth saying that to yourself because it might not be there next year. If you don't go this year, if you don't support these things when they're starting out, they might not be there next year. And then yeah. the, anyone else that's thinking of organizing one will go, well, there was one run last year and it did fucking shit, didn't it? So I'm not wasting my time doing it. So like, yeah. get down, support it. Seven quid, six hours of your day, you'll get to meet other people that like horror. Like There'll the be point, tattoos, um, you know, stalls to meet people, films, all of this stuff. It's, it's a day out. It's not a long day. It's only six hours. And you don't have to stay for the whole day because even if you only go for two hours, seven quid for two hours is still worth your while. I mean, can you can't even get a, a chicken fillet roll and a bottle of coke for don't. seven euro. Exactly. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I was going to say, some pubs are even charging ten more for a pint. Let's up and exactly. I, don't, I don't even want to talk about that. That's that's not allowed. That, that, that type of talk's yeah. not allowed in here. Keep it going about the Dublin thing, man. Keep it going. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> we're, trying to, we're trying to convince people from Dublin to go down. Yeah. <laughs> um, Might, but you'll see. You're also, here. Might be a bit cheaper down there, all right. Yeah. also see... Uh, ourselves wandering around somewhere down there so don't be afraid to come and say hello if you do yeah, you don't buy the park king king I mean, might <laughs> only, <laughs> only if you want it though <laughs> i might have gone to look like this if you see me or i'll be dressed as jason for a few hours myself on the day for photos so either way if you see stop me talk to me absolutely i think well, i mean want to be samara or someone else just yeah yet, so. like we'll, we'll dress up ourselves for it. We, we we love this stuff it's it's like a it's like it's something we're passionate about something we like to do so we like the last, meeting people the last jason we seen dressed up at a toy at a at a con stabbed me in the back with a with his machete so <laughs> <laughs> had to keep eyes on the back of your head greg yeah doug tate got me real good with that one <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah. he, was, he was literally we were standing talking to um, Dean of the Dead Hot Sauce and I, I got a, a machete in the back that he was walking to take his uh, his pictures with people but he recognised us from the interview we did and he got me right between <laughs> the fucking ribs <laughs> that was, it was good crack though it was good crack but, um, on today he dressed up as Freddy is it just Freddy? Does he do zombie Probably. Freddy? He does a zombie and he does Freddy. Yeah, he'll be there on today, and he's very much like that. He will come up to you, and he will like he gets. He's great crack. Yeah, he's so much fun. Like, you know, all you'll hear every now and again is a scream from someone, and you know, yeah, oh, there's Liam. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit him with a pillow. That's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's it, it, Mr. Socko. Will. Yeah, Mr. Socko. Yeah. <laughs> well, folks, if you want um... to have Uber, you go first. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm not a, I'm not adverse to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but folks, it, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Um, and obviously the build up to the con begins now, and we'll do everything we can to help support you along the way. Yeah, hundred um, percent. And obviously we've had we've had conversations as well, um, Joey. So as I said, any any kind of help you need or any advice you, we can give you, don't be afraid to. Yeah. Help us. Look, really appreciate we'll, it. We take any help we can get. <laughs> Don't ask me to do stuff because it's not going to happen. But <laughs> advice, <laughs> advice, advice is free. <laughs> <laughs> to a certain extent, <laughs> guys, he's good at sweeping. That's all I'll say. Okay. 
Yeah, no, yeah. He can stick around. He can after six then. Yeah. <laughs> I I only charge about two hundred quid an hour. Yeah. That all is. Yeah, a little over. Ah, we got notions. Uh, we got higher. We got higher quotes than that. So. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think we'll leave it there, folks. Um, folks, it was it was a great chat, and we can't wait for the con. Um, I said Brilliant. they'll be there, we'll be there. Go find us. Thirteenth of October, twelve yeah, o'clock, on the Urban Community Centre. Yeah. Seven quid, seven quid, folks. That's all it is. What else would you be doing? Can't even get a chicken fillet roll in a bottle of coke these days. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I think I think we'll leave it there, folks. And I'll finish this the way I finish absolutely every single Friday night. In the words of the great George A. Romero, ladies and gentlemen, stay scared. Woo!